This is the high powered Wi Fi installation. 20.5 miles back to New Bedford, Massachusetts. We're cooking chicken in front of it later. Chicken. How much power? Uh, it's four watts, but it is a uh, thousand watts effective isotropic radiated power. Right here, this is a Ubiquity Bullet. It is a um, it's a Wi-Fi radio. You can program it up for all sorts of different things. Uh, this is a four watt power amplifier. This piece right here, this is a, an injector so I can put the power, the DC power into the amplifier. The Ubiquity Bullet uses power over Ethernet. So there's actually the Ethernet DC, I mean the Ethernet uh, data connection is here. And there's also power that powers up just this part, the radio. And this DC injector, which I'm running through this power connector, will uh, power up this amplifier. It's a four watt power amplifier. We've got minimal loss because we're not doing any RF down the wire. No, there's no, there's no coaxial losses. The only piece of coax is this one little piece that goes from the amplifier into the antenna. It's only about three feet long. Uh, this dish focuses the energy and it actually takes this four watts of power. It makes it look like a thousand watts because of the um, you know the focusing and the amplification of the power. 2.4 gig is um, for ham radio is licensed for uh, commercial purposes it's unlicensed so my, my company does not use the unlicensed band but right. I do and what I can make up for in the fact that if I was to do this with a commercial link I would have to use like a massive antenna and it'll be but the fact that I can run such high transmit power, I can actually offset the fact that I don't need a big antenna. Hmm. The winch, we hang the winch. Oh, and that brings it up. It's a, it's the a mic mechanical. comes up. Okay, yeah. We get yeah. a full extension. Right, yeah. So it's a 30-foot <laughs> tower. Yeah. 20-foot pipe. Right on, yeah. When we crank it up, up a little bit. the pipe comes up to just about here. You made the sliders yourself? Yes, I did. Yeah. <coughs> it's all fabricated from scratch. Oh, uppy. Yeah. Uh, we want to pull it up. Nobody's guiding it. Nobody's holding it. Those go up in the front. Go up in the front. Go up in the front with that. Go up in the front. We have a guy going that way. up there. Hey, Is we're sharing this backhaul, so you're gonna see it bounce a little bit, but still, it's. Well, I really need. I'm gonna get. I need to iperf it back to this server. So for the naysayers at work, said it couldn't work. Oh, I already emailed the people at work already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is why we're upgrading the backhaul out there right now. It's. Watch up, upload. Uh, upload is still hanging over 12. Jesus. Yeah. 12, 12.64, 12.68. Oh, yeah, it's way better than my cable. Um, well, download speed's a little faster, but if I log into the radio um, and I can do a speed test over the wireless link, and it says we're doing like 21 megs. I think 21, 22 megs last night I was looking at it. Poles, uh, right, we look at the signal strength. I mean, we're at neg 58. That's a that's a big signal. I have to check my prediction, but that's might be a little better than I, I was expecting. Great signal. Yet. Why can't we get on? Because it's something with the wireless, not with the. I, that um, I haven't figured. The new site survey. I can look at any other Wi-Fi that's here. And there's a lot of interference over at the New Bedford side. There's a lot of interference. There's like 40 different SSIDs. And they're all basically creating noise. But I mean, look, this is the one. This cracks me up. Cuddy Hunk Wi-Fi. That's probably ten miles away from here. Oh. I'm seeing. It, it's it's weak, but um, we do have a link sys. Uh, that might be Matt's link sys. No, it's program And we will. Uh, what I'll do is I'll speed test to the radio on the other side. So it's just testing the wireless link right now. So let's use an ICMP. So it has twenty. You know, 1969 over the wireless, it'll nice. support. And that's with fog. Outside yeah, that's, yeah, that's. So, 
it's fog in 20 and a half miles. The you know part of that slowdown is the fact that it's not such a big deal on this side on the island. There's not a lot of that Wi-Fi activity, but over in New Bedford, when I do a uh, a site survey in New Bedford, there's dozens and dozens of uh, uh, Wi-Fi that's sharing the same channels with us. And Wi-Fi is a polite protocol, and if it hears somebody else transmitting, it waits till it transmits. Ultimately, when enough of that happens, it slows down your link, and we're you know, but even still holding 19.55. This gear tested on the bench, you know, into dummy loads, you know, right across, just across the bench, so it was hearing nothing else, was able to do like 24 and a half, 25 meg. So we're, we're good. running, you know, pretty, uh, pretty high percentage of that, even over the air with all the interference. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. So that's telling me I'm in the radio over in New Bedford right now, logged in. And so we'll run, so we do a site survey. And so here's all the different access points that it's seeing right now over in the bedroom. There's a couple dozen there. All right, Fair, Fairfield Inn, look out, Don, Fairfield Inn's like almost a mile away. I can see all their Wi Fi. Yep. Um, you can see their Wi Fi at Fairfield Inn? From, from, the, from New Bedford, yeah. Oh, okay, from New Bedford. Yeah. There's.